Okay, so now, now you told me it was $8,820, and five minutes ago you told me it was $8,620, and five minutes before that you told me it was $8,220. I guess you, you, had, you had it wrong. 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 Well, how come yes, the how come the IRS hasn't mailed me anything? See, we did that, ma'am. We have given each and every paperwork to you. No, I didn't. I didn't get anything in the mail. We have sent it to your boss office, ma'am. Well, yes. I don't. I don't. You must have me confused with someone else because I don't have a post office box. I told you I live at five hundred two Joe's Road, and you never no, even no, no. you never even asked me what city or state. See, ma'am, we have sent it to your zip code for us always. The number of your zip code is 12123, which you have given to me before. Right. Well, what? Well, you know what? Sometimes the post office... We have sent it, we have sent it to that post office. Well, so what? that is not a problem, ma'am. If you got any paperwork, if we deliver the paperwork to your post office, they will deliver to your doorstep. Well, that is not our duty. That is not our duty, ma'am. You know, that is not the IRS duty to deliver to your to your doorstep. We are only to give you them paperwork to your post office only, not to your doorstep. That is the postman work. Well, how come then, um, if it goes back to 2012, it, this is the first I'm hearing about it? Why didn't you contact me back then? Because each and every after five years, we used to audit the United States citizens' income taxes. No, have, no, the IRS, the IRS can audit the tax returns every year. So, no, ma'am. We used to audit. We used to audit after five years. Uh huh. So it's been it's been a five years that we have did on your taxes. That in from 2003 up to 2016. So we have audit and we have found some outstanding amount, which it is still on pending under your name. Okay, and how so much? We deliver. How much was it? We have, sorry? How much do I owe you? You don't have to owe me. You have to owe that amount to the federal government. Well, I don't mean you specifically. How much do I owe the IRS? This is a test. This is only a test. It is eight thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars. That is the amount which you have owed to the federal government. Okay, that but that is the outstanding amount. But the the numbers that you gave me for two thousand twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen don't add up to eighty eight twenty. Yeah, including the including including the charges, it is eight thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars. Okay, well, what do I have to do to pay this? So ma'am, uh, for this case, let me explain to you and have information which you have got from the federal government. So listen to me. So for this case, the IRS also discovered a strong evidence that this was not a result of any innocent mistake. Rather, it was a willful act done with intention. How can you say? How can you say it was willful? How can you say that? It, because we don't. We have you the permission to file your income taxes by the third party like your private accountant or any of your HR program. The income taxes records which we have, it is under your name only. So you need to take responsibility. Oh, I would take because responsibility if it were true, you Ben Chod. Mater Chod scammer. See, ma'am. Yeah? What? What did you say? What did I say? Is that a way to speak? <laughs> yeah, it is to a Ben Chode like you. Why? Why is that so? Are you Why a, is that too? 
Are you a Bihari boy? You're a beggar. Why don't, why, don't, why don't you go back to Nagaland and make your parents happy? Is that it? Is that it, Bihari? You're a Bihari boy, are you? You Ben Chode? You Ben Chode scammer. No, 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 no. I'm not from, uh, what did you say? Which company did you say? Where are you from? Can you come again? Before that, you stay. Where are you from? You say, uh, go, back, go back to Nagaland. Nagaland, where is it? Yeah, like you don't know where Nagaland is. I never heard it. No. Are you from Nagaland? Yeah, I'm from Nagaland. Oh, yeah. I have my friend too from Nagaland. Uh huh. So, why do you scam? Why are you a scammer? Just tell me what's your name. Are you from Nagaland, right? Let me ask to my friend. I Where told you. Your... I told you my name. But this is not a Nag name of Nagaland. No, how would you know that? Yeah, I know because I have a majority friend from Nagaland. Well, I don't think your name is Daniel Woodson. That is my nickname. <laughs> your nickname? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. And where do you live, Daniel? Uh-huh. <laughs> so did you like my nickname, ma'am? No, it's kind of stupid. How about if I call you Charlie instead? <laughs> you called me. Yeah. I like, and I called you too. Uh-huh. So how come you're scamming? No, no, actually, I, didn't, I, I do work for the scam, okay? You do work for the scam. Today it's the IRS, tomorrow it's the CRA. So what's the story? By the way, how did you know Nagaland? Because I'm educated. Yeah, I know you're a well-educated person. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. I know that well. But how did you know Nagaland? Who told you that the Nagaland people, they work for the scam? There is no scam office. Yeah, in Nagaland. There's no office in Nagaland. I know that. And how did you mention that the scammers they are from Nagaland? Because I know your accent. No, no, I'm from. I'm not from Nagaland. Where are you from? I'm from Shillong. Where? Shillong, Shillong. Shillong. You have a big Shillong. Nagaland. Yeah, you have. You have a tiny little Lund. I'm sure you do. Have you ever visited Nagaland? No. Sorry? No. Yeah, and I believe that... Have uh, you? You know that there, uh, there is a second world war cemetery, right? A second world war... what? There is a second world war cemetery. A cemetery in Nagaland? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's buried there? Uh... I guess it is in Koima or something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah in, in capital of Nagaland, yeah. Your English is very is very poor. How much money did you make today? I didn't have any money. I didn't bought I didn't bought any money. I can tell. Are you new at this job? Sorry? Are you new at this job? I'm new. Yeah, I'm not a new one. How long have you been working there? Two days only. Two days, I can tell. You're not very good. Yeah. Why don't you try to find another job? Yeah, I'm trying to find, but this, this is my part I'm job. Do your parents know you're scamming? No, no, no. Well, what do you think they would do if they found out? They will find me because I'm not in my own state. No. Where are you? Kohima? <laughs> that is the Nagaland state. Yeah. Are you in Mumbai? Yes, yes. New yes. Delhi? Gujarat? Uh, Noida? You know everything, right? Where are you? Gurukam, Noida, Gujarat. 
you never see. Uh, where is that Gurgaon Noida I know? Don't you know where that is? I don't know. I heard, but I didn't know where is that. Yeah, it's in India. There are all different cities in India. It is in Gurgaon, right? Yeah. Gurgaon, Noida. Yeah, there is a lot of office, but nowadays uh, the CBI, you know, they have been raided and they have closed all the offices. And Bangalore? Yeah, actually, I'm in Bangalore. You are? Yes. It's a pretty big city, isn't it? There should be lots of jobs there. Yeah, there's lots of jobs, but I don't want to work. Uh, I don't like hard working. <laughs> How old are you? Sorry? How old are you? How long? How old? What is your age? Uh, I'm 22. You're 22. You're young enough, but you're old enough to know better. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you don't get arrested and ruin the rest of your life. No, no, no. Yeah, I won't be getting arrested. Well, you know, you're, you're stealing from people. Yeah, I know that. But I never do that. You never do it? Well, that's what you're trying to do. That's what you tried to do to me. See, ma'am, uh, actually, you know that uh, I am a weird scammer, and according to my action, I can do my better. I can do my best how to scam people. Try to find another job. Just for one week or two weeks, I'm going to do this, and after my salary, I got my salary, I'm going to, to my hard work. Where? I will go to my professional work. Yeah. In Bangalore. So, you get paid once a month, so in two weeks you're going to leave? Yeah. I'm going for that. Well, I hope, I hope you do better in life, because are you a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Well, you know, I hope karma doesn't come back to bite you because you know stealing is a, is one of the Ten Commandments. Yes, yes. What you're doing is not right. And you know what? And you know what? You're stealing from people who work hard for their money, too. Yeah, but I never steal the money from any of the United States by calling them and scamming them and taking all the money. I don't like that. I don't prefer to do that. That's why I used to change my eggs. Well, <laughs> so, that, so that they will be caught up. They will be caught. Yeah. And they, they will know easily that we are a skin. That's why I used to change my eggs. Well, it didn't work I too good. Up. I knew. Uh, yeah, and actually I'm a new. I'm a fresher. I'll be two or three days working out here in IS as a scammer. Yeah. And then what? But, but I never do that. Okay. Don't scam anymore today. Go to sleep. Yeah. But Pret yeah. Pretend you're talking to somebody so you're not scamming anybody else. Yeah, I won't do that. After, after this month, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave this job. Mm-hmm. I hope you do. Yeah. How many people work in that call center? It's more than two, yeah, it's more than 200. That's pretty big. Yeah, sorry? That's a very large call center. Yeah, this is a very large call center and it is in a secure place. So the police or any other CPI can never call where this office is being located. Yeah. They will do. But when they, I assure that this company will be shut down. I hope so. Yeah. I hope they get raided really soon. Yeah.